what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you my everyday carry this is my main planner that i am in i switched from the hobo Ninja cousin to uh, this file effects so if you're interested in seeing my everyday carry planner then just keep watching okay so i if you saw my previous video i my 2022 lineup consisted of all Hobonichi products and that quickly changed um, because, I don't know, I found that I was, um, I don't know, every time I went to write in it, I didn't feel free to just make it messy. I felt like I had to kind of make it pretty and perfect and, um, you know, as a busy mom, I kind of just want something that's going to be super functional, which the cousin is totally functional, like the Hobie Nature products I love, but I want something that I can, that I'm not afraid to like get messy and write in, um, something that I don't feel the need to have to curate all the time. So I started playing around with rings and inserts again. I previously used file effects planners before and they didn't really um i didn't really stick with it i think i just didn't have the right setup for myself um but i got the filofax Safiano compact zip around organizer for my hobie and she weeks and so that came with inserts so i started playing around with that and quickly fell in love with the filofax inserts with rings um i found that i felt more free to um i don't know just Feel free to go in there and get messy and just use pen only. Um, it quickly became something super functional. So I changed my on the go planner to my Safiano zip around. That's my wallet and on the go planner. And then um, I had gotten in 2021 the Centennial personal size um, original file effects, which is beautiful. So I then started playing around with that. <laughs> and so the cousin turned into the Filofax personal size and I'm in love. Anyway, I had to pick up the Finsbury because I don't, I never had a Finsbury before. Um, it's a beautiful leather. This is in slate gray, but it's, it's got blue undertones. So I love it. Um, I love that it's like a muted blue. Um, but the color is slate gray and this is the Finsbury personal size. So since I fell in love with the personal size original Filofax, um, I saw Rosie over at Rosie's Planners in her Finsbury's in the slate gray and I had to have it. So now my love of blue is coming out. You guys are seeing it probably on my Instagram if you follow me over there. Like I've always loved blue, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's just prominent lately <laughs> so i'm in love anyway let's get into this so it's got a snap closure you've got the file effects embossing i think that's what that's called and the leather has a really nice texture to it it feels it's a stiffer planner so if you like more of like squishy leather you want that worn in look the vintage feel like the malden it could be really good for you um i like a stiffer planner something that i feel it feels, you know, nice and sturdy in my hands. Um, I don't particularly love the squishy leathers. Um, I do have a Malden in stone, which is also gray, but it's more gray and less blue. Um, but I didn't love that one. And I think that's part of the reason why. So I like the um, more sturdy leathers. So you get the snap closure and opening it up with this one you have the card slots and then one large card slot so right here I have latte from caffeine and paper co she's just sitting right there with my uh, Ollie clip from Filofax. it's actually a turn it inside out which is cool about the Filofax Ollie clips you can the reversible um, so I did have this up here like you see on a lot of um, ring planners but it was not staying very well so I thought I would just put it in the card slot and it's perfect because it's holding latte um, and then in here I've got some caffeine and paper co stickers that I just got you probably saw this on my Instagram if you follow me over there um, they're just so cute um, so I've got those and then this is from peanuts planner co this 
this is not something you punch and put in your planner, but it's something you keep with you. It's your um, planning routine. So you can kind of map out like what you need to check on a monthly basis, weekly basis, and daily basis as far as your inserts in your planner to keep you from like missing anything when you go to plan and then make your schedule. So um, I like this because when I go to plan each month and each week and day, then I have something that reminds me of what what sections I need to check in my planner. This is a flyleaf that flyleaf that comes with the Filofax planners. It's a top loading. So I have some pictures that I printed out on my HP Sprocket. Um, this is all my kids and then two out of three boys. Um, and then I have this little quote card from Planner Press and then another latte. Just a cute little back profile shot of of her she's so cute so that's what that holds and then a yearly overview from Filofax so you've got the current year the previous year and the year ahead um, I had put a piece of vellum that I cut myself I just got an on Amazon like a pack of vellum so um, I tried printing with my printer on it and I don't know what's up but I just can't print on vellum I think I have to play around with the settings a little bit but anyway I just put that there to protect my sterling ink printable this is a freebie if you are in her Facebook group or email list and you get these I'm gonna print February pretty soon here this is from Infinite Lotus. I just printed out as well. It's my inbox. Uh, my inbox is my brain dump. So if I'm on the go or I need to quickly jot something down, it goes here in my inbox so that later on when I have time, I can like categorize or do whatever it is that I need to do. But it's just a brain dump section. I haven't used that yet. Um, and then this is a monthly fold out from Pina's Planner Co. I think this was also a freebie. Um, but I'm using that as a content planner, which I like. And then this, these are Peanuts Planner Co. monthly uh, inserts that you can print off as well. They're freebies um, in our Facebook group. And so the front, you get a monthly overview. So I'm using this as highlights, which is kind of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing that all filled in at the end of the year. I have a Midori index clip that I got off Jet Pens, just tabbing that the month off. So this is January and I'm keeping things super simple in this planner. Um, I kind of slowly add things like if I have things from previous planner setups that I have then I put it in here. Um, but I'm trying not to be super overwhelming with deco or um, you know pens and stickers and things like that. I'm just trying to keep it super functional. So my monthly is all pen. Um, so that's appointments, birthdays, YouTube video schedule, um, things that I need to do like monthly tasks will go here. Um, if I want to just write down monthly highlights I'll put that right here and then migrate that over to the monthly overview right there. So I have all 12 months in here. Again this is a freebie. Um, Penis Planner Co. inserts I love cut like they're super easy to print out because of the way she has like the cut marks. So I love that about her inserts. Um, these dividers are from Filofax. They came with my um, planner, my Centennial planner. Um, I believe the ones that came with the Finsbury are a little more cream um, colored. And then this is from Caffeine and Paper Co. I just placed an order with her, as you can tell. Um, I, that reel is on my Instagram if you want to check it out, but I just cut these down um, and they are bookmarking our book like bookending my weekly insert. So this is all the whole year um, all of 2022 in inserts. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> I've got the whole year in here as far as weekly inserts. So this came with the planner as well. Um, I forgot if this came these came with the Finsbury on the Centennial, the minimal inserts came with that one. So Filofax has different um, inserts that you can get. So the original ones are blue. Um, I believe there is like an academic one that just, that doesn't have all the different languages. It's just like the English days of the week. Um, there's also a minimal line. So it's all black and white. Um, so my Centennial, uh, Filofax came with those minimal ones which I was using for a while but then the Finsbury came in and had these and I think I like the original ones um, let me know your preference if you have a um, if you like certain you know the original or the minimal so 
you get holiday symbols. It's like different things that you're gonna see on your weekly spreads. Um, so I kind of am playing around with like different fonts, which I think this is, this looks, I feel like this looks so good. Um, but I love playing around with my handwriting and like trying new things. And um, I just love, I love the fact that these come with a planner. So I feel like I'm not as afraid to write in them and get them messy. Um, so I just kind of like backfilled a little bit. Uh, and then this was last week and then this is the current week. Um, yeah, so the left side typically holds like all the events, appointments. The right side I uh, use for my to-dos. And then if I don't get like a to-do done, I will put a little forward arrow and it goes to the next day. Um, I migrate that. And then I have just a little habit tracker up here, which I won't be doing that anymore. Um, that's what I've been doing in like my cousin and my other planners, my bullet journal. Um, but I added in trackers back here. So you guys are going to see that, but that's how I've been using my weeklies, just a pen. And later when I have time, I just go in with a little Tombow marker. These stickers are from Sterling Ink. I love Sterling Ink. She has the most beautiful designs. Oh, and these teardrop stickers are also from her. Friday, you're going to see my Safiana flip. Um, which you guys would have already seen because this is going to go up after. Um, okay, so you've got the whole year in here, which I love. So when you get a file tax organizer, you're pretty much set up all ready to go. You've got all of the main guts. You're ready to just set up your dividers and get writing. So that's what I love about file tax planners. And then that it's the same vellum that I got from Caffeine and Paper Co. I just put on the back of my weeklies. And so now this next divider goes into my trackers. So um, I've got different trackers in here for different things. So this came with my planner um, and I wanted to keep it in here. I took off the sticker that had like the information for what kind of planner it was and then it left like a residue. So I just put a little sticker over that. <laughs> That's not my favorite, but I like the plastic. Okay, so first this is um, a yearly tracker. So you've got the months, the first six months on the front and then the last on the back. And you've got one through 31. So I'm using this for my workouts. I wanna see the different programs that I do in the Fit Club. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you have heard me talk about the Fit Club, but it's my online community where I support other women on their health and fitness journey. And it's so much fun. Um, the programs are amazing. I've been consistent now for like two years and so and that's never happened in my life like I've never considered myself one to like working out um, or someone who had motivation at all um, until I started doing these programs and having that accountability with the online group and like being able to check in with the other members has really helped my um, like make it sustainable and hold myself accountable like add that extra layer of accountability and we all work out virtually together so it's so much fun so I want to see the different programs that I do and it's super convenient because I can just press play on them um, from my laptop. I recently got a stationary bike which also streams them so um, it makes it really just doable. So if you want more information on that and how to join me I'm going to leave that down below so you can request more info but um, this month I'm doing job one which is 20 minutes a day five days a week. Super super do doable like it's amazing. So um, I actually did it in December and then I repeated it in January so I've really been enjoying that one and I'm just finishing it up. And I just put this insert in, so that's why I just kind of did that. Might backfill it, we'll see. Um, so I cannot wait to see that all filled in at the end of the year. And then, so these are, all these like trackers are from Penis Planner Co. And I can put the number of what tracker each, or what insert each of them are. She numbers hers, so I'll put that information down below because I don't know them by heart. Um, so this one is day specific tasks. So you've got Monday through Sunday and then all 52 weeks, I believe, yeah, for the year. So what I did was, this is my weekly cleaning tracker. So on each day of the week, I don't like to clean on Friday, Saturday and Sundays. I will if I have to on Saturday or if I have to catch up on anything. Um, but I just assign different things to each day that I want to get done. So today's Tuesday and I would get these tasks done um, and I just put a dot when they don't happen and then an X when they do so I just put this in last night so I just put dots on the first three weeks for January 
Um, so this just helps keep me on track and it breaks the tasks down so that I'm not left feeling overwhelmed at the end of the week on everything I need to do. It just breaks it up into smaller bites and allows me to stay more consistent with it and also gives me like information like if we get to the fifth week and I haven't done the fridge or whatever then I know like it's time to do that so I love this uh, tracker it's gonna come in really handy and there's still room a little bit of room to add things if I need to okay so this is reoccurring tasks this insert so uh, I'm zooming you guys in just a little bit so it's just a different way of tracking so you got your section for tasks and then January through December and I'm using this for um, like cleaning that I don't necessarily need to do every week but on a monthly basis or twice a year or something like that so what I did was I used a Tombow marker and just put dots on the months that they need to get done and then when I get them done I'll check them off so um, that's what that is and then on the back on the back is like adulting things so like when things were new um and checking in with the clients in the fit club things like that like things that i need to remember but don't happen very often um but i want to make sure that they don't slip through the cracks um okay so this one i'm really excited about so let me zoom you guys in just a little bit um again i'm going to put the numbers of these inserts down below because i don't know what this is called but this is a monthly tracker so right now i have this one's labeled health habits and i just put the month and then you've got one through 31 here here i'm tracking all of the things that i wanted that i want to get done on a daily basis and also slash want to track like um i want to track if i wake up before my alarm because so <laughs> tangent but uh, I started, I read Change Your Schedule, Change Your Life in the Circadian Code. So I'm really, I've been really interested in learning more about your circadian rhythm. Um, so one of the, one of the healthy signs of a healthy circadian rhythm is if you can wake up on your own, like without an alarm. So I've noticed on like when, like my, when everything's in alignment, I tend to start waking up before my alarm goes off, which is amazing. So I want to track that. Um, journaling, personal development, working out, checking in the fit club, um, all of these things I never did before coaching, like when, before I started the fit club. Um, but this is part of our job. So I love that. Like part of my job is to pour into myself and like work on my health and fitness. So I love that. So I tracked that, checking in the fit club, posting, time-restricted eating, which is, goes along with the circadian rhythm thing, getting in sunshine and bed by 10 p.m. Those work for me. Like it all plays into my health and how I feel and my energy. So I want to track that. And then I set it up for February as well. I'll show you that. So my Tombos are showing up. They went on so much darker on the, these um on this paper as opposed to my cousin on the cousin the tombos are a lot more muted um okay so i just did the same thing for february and then this one i saw in a facebook group um this is really cool so this i labeled sleep slash wellness and it's my january tracker obviously i just started it um but i have i'm tracking how many hours i get for sleep and then my mood and then my cycle so i want to see these things in conjunction like how my mood is according to my cycle and how i slept um because it all plays a part into each other and this is like Part of what I've been learning with the circadian rhythm and things like that but you know all of this plays a part in like your energy and your mood and things like that so I'm really curious to see a whole month filled in so I cannot wait for February um, this is what it looks like blank um, and I just put mood here you might not be able to read it but February tracker mood sleep and wellness so I'm really excited to see this all filled in um, these health habits and the wellness habits um, and the trackers I love looking at trackers I think it's so satisfying so those are the trackers to help me stay on 
sorry, those are the trackers to help me stay on top of the things that I want to do consistently that helps my energy, it helps my wellness, helps my everything, you know, just a mom life and um, helps me stay on track. So there's that. Okay, so this is from Fox and Pip. I love this. I got this a while ago from my pocket planner, but never used my pocket planner. Um, so I just put it in here, marking off my dot grid pages. So I'm using these dot grid pages if I need daily pages. So sorry if you can hear my kids. This is from Caffeine and Paper Coat. Super cute. Um, but if I if my to-do list on my weeklies get too long, I will start a daily page. Um, and then this I got... <laughs> I tried this Zebra Sarasa Grand in 0.7 and it's super thick and I don't love that. Um, I like a finer nib, so I might switch out the refill for that. Um, so just dot grid pages. These are all from Filofax. The only things that I added in was the Penis Planner Co. And then I go into my list section. So this is a trigger list. Like if you want to do a brain dump at the end of the week or the beginning of the week, you can look over this list and it will jog your memory as, as to things that you might need to write down. So for lists, I have a reading list, personal development books that I want to read, um, wish list for me, shopping list, like things that I want to add to my next grocery order. Um, school assignments, foods for um, my kids, and then I did some journaling, which um, it's just like if I feel the need to get my thoughts down on paper, then I will journal in here. And that's what I love about this planner is like it's so versatile. It can be my journal, it can be my tracker, my wellness and health, you know, tracker, my scheduling book, you know, like so much. And I can just take out the paper if I mess something up or don't like it and just put it in. That's what I love about rings. Um, and with file effects, you get all the inserts you possibly need. Like all these are file effects. So this is blank. And then back here, I have the lunar calendar for 2022 from SaturdayGift.com. And then he, back here, I printed out another Penis Planner Co. insert, and this is for my meal plan. Um, so I don't necessarily like assign dinners to a certain day because what I feel like eating changes. So I will plan out seven dinners, one of them being eating out, and then I'll just make a list of them. And then whatever I feel like making that day, I will make that day. But I, at least I know I have meals and the ingredients to make them. So I'll do that here. Um, track what breakfast and lunches we have and then a section for grocery lists um, so that's what I'm using this insert for it's not necessarily a meal planning insert I don't think um, I don't remember what it's called but um, that's what I'm using it for and then I just have another divider and then another fly leaf that is holding some stickers and page flags so I'll show you guys what's in here Okay, so this is from Sterling Inc. I love Sterling Inc. Go check her out. Um, these are mini icons. So this is like a meal, uh, what is it? It's like a um, Dutch oven. And then you've got some planner stickers. Sorry. And then a crock pot kind of thing. Um, I think this is for meal prepping. Um, a cleaning dustpan icon, some dumbbells and workout mat icon. Um, shopping basket and then here's those teardrop stickers I love this color palette I'm obsessed so I have that in here and then corner dot corner stickers that is intended for the Hobinchi cousin but I love them anyway it's a two by two two by two um, grid it takes up two by two grid space on the cousin and then um, just one of her floral patterns with the dot stickers and then some transparent page flags from cloth and paper um, I believe cloth and paper and this might be infinite lotus or cloth and paper one of the two I know this cloth and paper I don't remember what this is from so that's the stickers that I have super functional in here um, just you know when I have time I will use put down a sticker um, but otherwise like it's not this is not a heavily stickered planner I want it super functional something that I can just use a pen and write things down and not be afraid to get it messy and make it really work for me and make it so that it actually helps me in my life and be productive and keep me on track um, plus it's fun um, oh in this back pocket I just have a notepad and this notepad that I have back here came with the Centennial Planner from Violafax. So I just have that in there for extra 
note pages. But that is everything in my everyday carry planner. I carry this thing with me everywhere around the house because if something comes to mind and I don't want to forget it, then I need to write it down and that goes in my planner. Um, so I carry this with me in the house on the go. Um, if I don't want to carry it with me, I take my Safiano planner with me, but otherwise this is like my main squeeze. If you guys enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see my future videos. I'd love to connect more with you. So go follow me on Instagram. Um, and like I said, oh, sh subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.